Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into a writing app that uses AI to see whether or not this is one of, if not the best writing app out there right now. So I will just log into lex.page and we will check it out together. So I have tested it out. I actually wrote a full blog post inside of here and I've actually used this app before uh, because I write a lot at work and I in general write a lot but what we are going to do is that we are going to jump into this um, this blog post which I have already written uh, and we are going to test out some of the features and talk a little bit about the app. The first thing is the um, is the uh, user interface, which I like a lot. I like the way this looks. I like that you have sort of a um, distraction-free place to write and you have the sidebar right here. I can actually remove this and go into uh, full screen mode as well or into focused mode. And it has a, a focus session where you can write your goal and you can set a target of uh, words in a set period of time. So for example, 30 minutes and 500 plus words, or uh, you could set no, wor uh, no word targets. You could set actually reduce the word count. So uh, you have a couple of possibilities here and you can enter what's called focus mode or you can not enter focus mode. So you have um, an even more uh, distraction-free way of writing as well. But that is not necessarily the main selling point of the application. The main selling point is the AI, but I still think that it is really important to have uh, a good user interface, even if AI is your main selling point. So you will first have to nail the first part of the product, which is just basically being a good writing app, which I think that this is. I really enjoyed writing this blog post inside of here. You have a word count and you can even add more versions here as well. Uh, so here I've added another version. Um, so you can add more versions into here as well. So we also have a um, command menu where we can do a couple of things. So we can run checks, we can uh, ask Lex about your document, continue writing, generate text from prompt, and we will go through all of these uh, in this video. So the first one and probably the most important one in my case is to run a check and I need this because English isn't my first language. I struggle to write in English and I do a lot of writing in English, especially at work. Everything needs to be written well. I need to have a good grammar and uh, the writing just needs to be good. That's why I like something like this. And it isn't just uh, grammar. We can check off grammar cliches, uh, readability, and do I need anything else? I don't think I need anything else. So we can check off repetition as well and we can press run check and it will start checking. And as you can see, it shows me everything. So let's just quickly jump through this and you can do that by clicking. So here I need a comma. Uh, this is spelled wrong and here note taking apps appeared note taking apps to do so as you can see i struggle to write in uh uh write in english so i will just go through this and check everything off just a couple of things i wanted to mention while i'm in here one thing is that it actually recognizes the app names right here which I think is really cool and it also has this explain button which actually actually explains to you why the thing you did is wrong and I like this sort of AI because in writing I believe that it isn't about getting AI to do the work for us I don't like that at all so AI writing all of my blog posts AI writing everything I publish not a big fan of that. I want to write it myself with the help of AI. I don't actually want AI to do it 
for me. And I really like the implementation of this because first of all, you actually have to click here uh, and it makes it easier for you to remember the next time you're writing and actually learn the specific things. Uh, but secondly, uh, it actually helps you explain things as well, uh, and it helps you without doing the work for you, which I believe is really important. So we are done with the grammar, now we can go into readability, and it will uh, actually show me everything in readability. So uh, it uh, will suggest once again, suggest things that make it easier to read. And now we're done with that as well. And we will just check for repetitions. And it seems like I have a few and it will give me a couple of suggestions here and I will get these done as well. So the only thing out of uh, the checks that didn't work properly is actually the repetition one. The AI struggles to understand the context, but that might be better on uh, one of the other uh, AI uh, models, one of the other AI models. So now let's take a look at the other things that it offers. It has something called ask Lex and here I can actually talk to Lex like it is an editor or a human or just a thought partner which is something I love especially again for work since I work in marketing and I'm the only one. It is great to have someone or something to discuss with so I could get feedback on my draft and it will give me uh, feedback on my draft, a lot of feedback on my uh, draft, uh, and I can go through this and I can make changes to my to my first draft before I publish it. Um, so it offers that as well. It gives you title ideas, uh, which is something again I enjoy a lot because I struggle to come up with ideas. Uh, we have already touched on the focus sessions. It has a prompt builder here as well, where you can build prompts uh, and ask Lex prompts as well. Uh, this is on the pro plan and we will touch on the pricing a little bit later. But you also have the ability to share this with someone, download it uh, as a PDF, Markdown, Word, HTML or Latex file. It shows you the stats right here or you can just send people a link. So as I said, the main selling point is having an editor easily uh, accessible in uh, on your computer or soon to be in your pocket as well. Uh, and it is a really good application. Still a couple of small bugs when it comes to the checks. It also struggles a little bit with, as I said, with the uh, repetition check uh, but overall I think that it performed quite well especially on the grammar and the readability one struggled a little bit more with the repetition one. We can also uh, take a look at the pricing so if I press upgrade here you can see that it costs you $12 each month billed annually so $144 each year or you can go for the month to month plan or the monthly plan, which costs you $18 each month. Uh, and this gives you the premium AI models. So GPT-4, Claude 3, it gives you unlimited checks. There is no information about how many checks you actually get on the free plan, or I haven't at least been able to find it. It gives you document context, uh, which allows you to actually give the AI context about the document you are writing. Uh, as I said, you get the prompt builder, you get priority support, and you get early access, get new features first, like our iOS app and track changes. So that's what you get on the pro plan, uh, and you can pay for it monthly or yearly. Uh, and as I said, it is an application I like a lot. I think that it is a really cool uh, application and it is offering something that 
no other apps are offering. A lot of these apps actually have AI write things for you, but this is like a writing assistant AI more than uh, a writing AI. It is an assistant and it also has been able to nail uh, the user interface. I think it is really beautiful. I like the focus mode as well. Uh, and uh, that is one of the most important things in uh, future AI products. I think that AI, especially in productivity apps, is a feature, not necessarily the whole product. Uh, and you have to be able to uh, get the basic parts of your productivity app or in this case your writing app you have to get that fixed before uh, people will jump to it even though you have a great AI so uh, get the basic things in order first then you can improve the AI that's at least my opinion uh, as as I said you can also add document context so what you're writing uh, what is your goal and what is the intended uh, audience you can add that as well and it will uh, it will um, give the AI context we have um, a few languages so we have Dutch English Spanish French Italian oh, I have no clue uh, what that is so uh, and the last one is Portuguese if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.